Reverend Joe here. Welcome to our collective worship video for this week. It's really good to see you whether you're watching at school or at home. It's good to be together. So let's begin our worship as we would if we were together in school by lighting a candle. Candle's lit and place it in our holder. Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. I wonder how your week has been. What have you been up to? Is it a good week? Is it a difficult week? Uh, are things challenging you? In a normal time, if we hadn't got uh, this pandemic going on, we would have been in schools this week doing our prayer spaces event. And I'm sure some of you re will remember how we come into each school in turn and we take a classroom or a space and we transform it into a prayer space and you're invited to come in a class at a time to explore how we pray and how we talk to God. And so I thought for the next couple of weeks we would do a couple of prayer spaces in our assemblies, in our collective worship, so that there's a chance for you to find some ways of praying at home or at school that can connect you to God. We're going to talk about a psalm today and next week a psalm. Now the psalms are a book in the Old Testament, in the first part of the Bible, and they're really a book of songs or maybe they're poems, but I think they're more likely to be songs because they were designed to be sung. And they're songs about God and about human beings and how we relate to God. And some of them are very happy and celebratory and some of them are sad. Some of them are very angry and cross. Why are you doing this, God? What's going on? And some are about how amazing we are and how amazing God is. And if you came to our Messy Church live on Saturday, you will have explored this psalm a little bit already. It's called Psalm 139. There are 150 psalms. Uh, so this is Psalm 139. And it's all about God knowing us and loving us. So just for a moment, it'll take a couple of minutes to read this. So perhaps this is a time for us to be still and to listen. And I'm going to read it from this piece of paper because it's a different translation to the one I've got here. It's slightly easier to understand. So I'm going to read you Psalm 139. And as you listen to the psalm, see if you can think of anything that you, you really like to hear, that you think is great. Have a listen. Lord, you have tested me so you know all about me. You know when I sit down and when I get up. You know my thoughts from far away. You know where I go and where I lie down. You know everything I do. Lord, you know what I want to say even before the words leave my mouth. You are all around me, in front of me and behind me. I feel your hand on my shoulder. I am amazed at what you know. It is too much for me to understand. Your spirit is everywhere I go. I cannot escape your presence. If I go up to heaven, you will be there. If I go down to the place of death, you will be there. If I go east where the sun rises or go to the live in the west beyond the sea, even there, you will take my hand and lead me. Your strong right hand will protect me. Suppose I wanted to hide from you and said, surely the darkness will hide me. The day will change to night and cover me. Well, even the dark is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light are the same. You form the way I think and feel. You put me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because you made me in such a wonderful way. I know how amazing that was. You could see my bones grow as my body took shape hidden in my mother's womb. You could see my body grow each passing day. You listed all my parts and not one of them was missing. Your thoughts are beyond my understanding. They cannot be measured. But if I could count them, there would be more than all the grains of the sand. But when I finished, I would have just begun. God, examine me and know my mind. Test me and know all my worries. Make sure that I'm not going the wrong way. Lead me on the path that has always been right. I wonder what you thought was good about that psalm. I like the thought of God taking care of me, his hand being on his, my shoulder or his hand leading me. 
I like the fact uh, that God's going to lead me on the right path and not let me go the wrong way. I really love the fact that God's known me from before I was even born. That's quite amazing. And there's one verse I really love, which is verse 14. And it says, I praise you because you made me in such a wonderful way. God made each one of us and we're all different. We're all unique. We've all got such good gifts. So let's get on to our prayer activity. Now, you need two different pots. Um, they can be a can because the kind of pun is about a can, but it doesn't have to be a can. It could be a cup. This is just a paper cup I had. You can use a jar. You can use a, a cup, uh, anything, a little cardboard box, whatever you want. And um, one of them is going to be called I can, can, or I can pot or I can box, whatever. But I can, it's all about what you can do. And then one of them is going to be called God can. God can, can. That's the pun. That's the bit that's funny. I can and God can. And we're going to use this as a way of thinking about what God does and what God can do and what we can do. And that's amazing. And if you look on our website, I've put a page of suggestions for you of some of the things you could put in your can, in your God can and your I can. But then you could think of your own things too. So here are some of the ones, the suggestions. Let's see what they are. This says... I can tell people how much God loves them. Did you know God loves you? He does. He loves you amazing amounts. I can do that. I can tell people that God loves them. I can be strong. Oh, I can be strong. That can mean different things, can't it? We could be strong because we can lift heavy things or we can be strong because we're able to withstand difficult things. But I can be strong. I can make things. Well, I can make things. I can make cans with labels on. I can make cakes. I can make my bed. I can make collective worship videos. I can do lots of things and you will have loads of different ideas about what you can do. You can put things you can do. I can ride a bike. I can be kind to my sister. I can help my mum today. I can finish that task for my home learning. All the things that you can do can go in the I can can. And you can add to it every day. Whenever you think of something that you've done that you want to say, God, that's amazing. Just write it on a piece of paper and put it in your I can can because it's a way of celebrating. But then think about what God can do. If we think back from that psalm, God can take care of us. God can find us. God can uh, know us completely. But I've got some other things on here. God can make whole new worlds. Well, the story of creation tells us that. God can never let me go. That's what the psalm says. God is there wherever we are. God can give my life meaning. Following God and living his way is what makes my life uh, good, what makes my life worthwhile. God can make ill people better. Well, that's why we pray when people are ill to ask God to make them better. And there's loads of things that God can do and there's loads of things that you can do and go in your I can can. So how are you going to use your cans? Well, the first thing you can do is just fill them up. Write things. Whenever it comes across in your mind, I can do this amazing thing, pop it in your can. And if ever you're thinking about God and you know some of the things that God can do, write some of the things that God can do and put them in your cup. But then when you come to a quiet time of prayer, you can use your cans to pray. So you can pick out one of the things here. It says God can make ill people better and you can use that to pray. So let's pray. God, we think of the people we know who are poorly, perhaps the people who are in hospital. And Lord God, we just pray that you can make them better and that you will work through the doctors and nurses to make them better too. Amen. So that's how we use it to pray. And let's think about something we can do. What does it say here? I can make things. So we can thank God for the things we've made. God, thank you so much for the cake we made today. Thank you that it was delicious. And let us help us bless other people with that amazing cake, perhaps by sharing it with our family and friends. Thank you, God, for helping us do amazing things. And that's how you can use your God can and your I can to pray and to celebrate. The resources are on the website, on the page where you found this video. So go and have a look. And if you want to make a God can and an I can, that would be great. You could have one in the classroom. You could have one at home and you could celebrate the things that God can do and the things that you can do. 
So let's just be quiet and still as we end our time together and I'm going to pray for you. Lord God, help us to know the things that you can do in our lives. Help us to know your love and your care. Help us to know your strength and your inspiration. And help us to celebrate the things we can do that we're good at. The things that you have helped us do because you made us in such amazing ways. So help us to have an I can do it attitude and to know that you can do it too. Amen. Amen. Have a lovely time uh, this week. I hope you have uh, exciting adventures in your home learning and in your school learning and remembering that God is with you and set up your own little prayer space if you'd like to. We'll see you again next week. Bye bye. Take care. Stay safe.